Let's answer the question. What is symmetry? Symmetry enables us to categorize and discriminate between various varieties of regular patterns. These are pictures or things that match one another. It refers to a bilateral symmetry that's the word called the sense of pleasing proportions and balance. Pierre Curie, who discovered radioactivity with his wife Mary, proposed that effects are symmetric as their causes. However, the presence of spontaneous symmetrically breaking reveals instances where effects diverge from their symmetric causes. There are many different kinds of symmetry. The most important ones are reflections, rotations, and translations. Less formally, flips, turns, and slides. Symmetry is when sides are equal, seen in similar images or items. The human body, with its equal parts like hands and eyes, exemplifies this. Broken symmetry suggests something unique emerging from repetition. Now that symmetry has been introduced, let's further discuss the important kinds of symmetry. Reflections or flips are also referred to as bilateral symmetry. A line that divides a figure into two halves, known as the mirror effect, is a mathematical transformation applicable in three-dimensional space. It preserves the symmetry of shapes, making them look the same on both sides. In mathematical terms, a form is bilaterally symmetric if it remains unchanged under reflection. Radial symmetry or rotations are symmetries in which the same units recur around circles. Similar to flower petals, a radial symmetry or rotation occurs when an object rotates about its central axis and the pattern remains unchanged after spinning. The same is true of a clover with three identical leaves. Its positions or shape will remain unchanged as it rotates. Translation, also known as translational symmetry, is the movement of an object to another position without any rotation or reflection, and the pattern remains unchanged. It is also defined as the sliding of an object about an axis. Translation captures symmetries in which units are repeated, such as a regular array of tiles with its hexagonal tiles is a great natural example. The broken symmetries of iron steel allowed us to see the beauty of symmetries from completely new perspective. This chapter represents that all the patterns we see have undergone processes in unified way to look what they are now. That is, they are diverse and disparate from each other. Though they may be obviously different, they are actually similar in a refined sense. Nature's number revealed is the medicinal pattern, fundamental though natural, symmetrious, emphasizing the mathematical unit of even the smallest and largest structures. At some point, a perfect mathematical symmetry highlights our similarities as persons and binds us as well. Ayan's Dawart has been very generous enough to allow us to see the world in a mathematician's eyes. No matter how much we deny it, no matter how many people dislike mathematics, the whole world feels a lot different seeing how even the smallest aspect of math keeps the world going around.